How y'all doing today? It's your boy Dan. Got to pop back in another video. Man, we got to <clears throat> talk about this football stuff, man. The season finna start. <clears throat> Go on ahead, just say what I got to say, man. <clears throat> it's gonna be a different season. I'm, I'm finna do a weekly elimination. Well, not weekly, but you know. I'm to the point, I'm going to eliminate a certain amount of teams each video, and I'm going to tell you why I don't think they're going to win the Super Bowl. First team I'm going to start off with is the Tampa Bay Bucks. I don't know, man. I just feel like when they won the championship, I don't I don't feel like that was like a real win. I don't know. It, it just don't feel right. I know a lot of people going to look at me like I'm a hater, but it just looked like it was like that right moment type of deal right moment type of situation so definitely don't believe that they will win again this year i don't care if they brought back all 22 starters or whatever i just don't think they're gonna be able to you know do it again all the players are getting older and they would just have like a perfect season i mean they have like a few injuries but most of their players are intact you know it doesn't happen like that all the time so and another thing, Tom Brady, everybody wants to talk about how great he is. He had, you know, people forget that Brady struggled the whole season until that point to be made to the playoffs. So it just goes to show you. And another thing is, I really don't think their defense is going to be as good as it was because you know what happens. One year your defense is probably number one, and next year it's in the bottom 20. That's just, just how it happens. Injuries happen. Ask the all 49ers. I know the 49ers are a different team all the way, but I mean, just ask them. Almost their whole team was riddled with injuries. And they end up losing for the season. Another, another reason is that three, they probably end up with <coughs> And another reason, I just, like I'm just saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that people going to get injured, but I'm just saying the perfect, you know, going without injuries to a season, it just doesn't happen. So I'm going to go ahead and chalk that up. And then most of their players are veterans, so... They have, a, they have younger players, but most of them are veterans. So, yeah. That eliminate that. Another team I'm going to eliminate. Man, I'm going to eliminate the Super Bowl. Should have a Super Bowl run right out. I don't think the Chiefs are going to win another Super Bowl. It's just that, man, I, I just can't see it. Because they defense, they overrated. Their, their team as a whole is pretty much overrated. They have no running game. Pretty much they only got what, pretty much just one trick ponies. I mean, they have Tariq Hill, he's a blaze on the speed. That's pretty much it though, but. Then they have old Travis Kelsey, but you know, Travis Kelsey, he's gonna start falling off. He getting old, man. A lot of people look at me like, what? Yeah, you trying to start falling off, man. Y'all know what it is, man. You get so old, you can't not really play football like you once did. Yeah, the Chiefs, they about to move into a transition period. This is about to be the last, really, you see of the Chiefs team. Because they're going to have to start making moves to the rest of their team. So... And I will say that window is about to close. I know a lot of people say they got Patrick Mahomes, they window not about to close. But, bro, people know what's about to happen. They can try to sign everybody, every contract they want to, but it, it ain't going to work. It's just crazy what they've done this year, how they ripped apart their whole offensive line. They got a new offensive line. Man, it's going to take some time to get used to it, so. That's all I have to say. Well, that's all I'm just thinking. 
because you know what happens. The offensive lines just don't come through in jail just like that. It takes one guy to really set the table for the rest of the guys, and, you know. And then they improve steadily every year. It's not like they're going to be number one. So, yeah, I really just can't see that. I think they <laughs> offensive line may be a little bit overrated. And then did the old dude just get hurt? So I mean, yeah, it's just yeah, they they team just a little bit overrated. They've been overrated since they since they really drafted Patrick Mahomes, and then they got Tyreek and all these people. People probably gonna look at me and say like I'm a hater, but no, I'm not a hater. It's just that I see what I see. They got an overrated team, man. Their defense is not good at all. All they pretty much got, to be honest, is just a couple of pieces. Somewhere on there, they have, well, so far since, you know, not counting the players that they drafted this year because we don't know what they're going to do. Linebacker core, trash. They got, like, one good safety. That's uh, the honey badge and other than that, pretty much nothing. And then they got, uh, you know, Chris Jones, and they got Frank, Mr. Uzi Clark, I can't stay out of trouble. <laughs> so, yeah, man, this thing about to crumble, y'all. All right, then, y'all, like, subscribe, turn on them post notifications.